Well, hello. It is July 9th. Back here, down here in Pennsylvania, working on the school bus conversion. Uh, I figure it's a good time to do a quick update on how things have been going, what we've gotten done in the last couple of months. I think February, I posted a video. Okay, let's talk about what we got going on on the driver's rear of the bus right here. Uh, we finished our generator and propane locker build outs. Uh, this is the generator compartment. Uh, Onan 4K generator and about 10 gallons of fuel. This is the propane locker. Should hold two propane bottles, uh, maybe even a third or fourth, plenty of extra room for storage. It is uh, not a sealed enclosure. It has a, a vent, a mesh on the one side. If there is a leak, it should flow through and, and not uh, build up. <laughs> Underneath the bus, moving forward, we have finished the uh, black water and gray water tank installation along with the uh, dump station. The tanks have been insulated with a, you know, some sort of foam insulation that we acquired. Uh, tanks are hung up with uh, perforated angle iron and uh, threaded rod, pretty much like everyone else does on their schoolie. So we have our dump valve, uh, a rinse out for the black tank, that might be a good shot of how uh, how it's installed. The gray tank is over there on the driver's side. It all routes over and dumps out here. Continuing our way up the front of the bus, we have the factory battery box. This is chassis batteries. Uh, two to three batteries fit in here. Uh, we added these two compartments. These will be for the motorhome batteries, just gonna do two 100 amp hour batteries uh, for now. Uh, if it turns out I need more battery capacity, can add them, remake boxes, whatever. Batteries are expensive, so we'll start with two and see what that gets us. Uh, coming over to the passenger underside of the bus, we have the gray water tank, which is hung uh, same manner as I showed you before. Uh, it is plumbed over to the other side into uh, one dump station, P-trap up here, standard P-trap with a clean out. Right. Um, like I was saying, rear fenders, front and rear, both sides, um, they had to be replaced. New York, salt, what are you going to do? Um, so you cut the bat out, uh, pop a couple of rivets off on your rub rail, tuck it up under there, um, tuck your channel, and uh, we use some rivets in some spots, we use some big uh, hex head screws in other places. Um, do what you got to do. Uh, we also put in, this is a, a large toolbox from a truck, contractor toolbox, so this, this is going to work great for uh, a storage bin, really nice. Uh, pretty easy to install that, um, it fit right between the skirt and the muffler, so we were able to just push it up on a jack. Uh, screw it in with some big legs into the floor cross members and cut cut our opening and it looks really good. So the last big thing we got going on the exterior of the bus right now is getting the condenser for the ductless mini split mounted on the rear of the bus. Um, our junction box is on the other side. We're going to run some wires and some conduit and that's going to power our unit. But uh, she's on there. She's mounted. Uh, that's good to go. It'll come off before paint, but... All right, so uh, on the inside now, a couple of big things that we've got done. Uh, spray foam insulation is in, as you can see. Uh, that's roughly two plus inches of foam in most places. 
uh, three where it came all the way out flush to the furring members, which is really, really good. That's going to help us a lot in the winter. Um, we started putting up uh, ceiling panels. That's going pretty well. Uh, we are using the uh, FRP plastic panel. Um, it's a neat thing. You can get it at Home, uh, home Depot Lowe's. Uh, it has tracks and moldings to finish all your edges, and it, it works pretty, pretty nice. All right. Right now, we are standing in the uh, bathroom. Uh, this has come a long way in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we put all the walls up. That was pretty quick. Uh, we have cement board, hardy board on the shower area. We used the FRP plastic again to make up three walls. Uh, FRP is going to go here behind the toilet. Uh, we're going to do a stainless steel shower wall. And I've red guarded this area that I anticipate will be the wettest. I put my tile down. Uh, we're going to do a tile shower pan and tile floor. Uh, but yeah, so pretty nice shower, toilet, little sink over here. Should get the job done quite nicely. Thanks if you stuck around and watched this. Uh, thanks if you've watched any of the videos. Thanks if you follow along on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, please like, follow, subscribe. Um, you can find the School Bus Project at uh, five, five Speed House uh, on Instagram and Facebook. The bus's name is Penny, so on Facebook you can find it under Penny Five Speed House. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned, stick around for more. Uh, leave any comments, questions, things I could do better, things I could do worse, or just say hello down in the comments. Leave bloop it away. Thanks, guys.